Here we are with CEO of Ford, Alan Mulally, and this is a, a great day to be here because you got some new earnings reports. Uh, it looks like you're on track maybe to have the best year you've had in close to a decade. Absolutely, Stephen. It, it was so neat to be able to share the results today because uh, not only were we profitable, but, but sales were up 30% based on the strength of our new product line, and we're able to uh, pay down $7 billion worth of our debt, so we're on our way back to investment grade now. Why is it uh, Wall Street keeps underestimating you? Well, I think that uh, you know our plan is is to uh, you know deliver the results and improve the plan every quarter and every year going forward, and uh, you know based on the strength of the product line and the fact that uh, people really do value the products that we clearly uh, you know were able to exceed their expectations. Now, from from where we sit on the outside of, of Ford, it looks like times are getting better in in the auto industry as a whole. Certainly at Ford, I mean, is that a, is that a correct assessment that that we're really on the way back, or we still got some bumps ahead? Well, I think uh, clearly we are on the way back, but this is the slowest economic recovery following a recession that any of us have ever experienced. So we're, we're being conservative. Uh, I think we're pretty much aligned with most people's estimate of the economic uh, expansion, plus the fact of the industry coming back slowly and us uh, increasing share a little bit. So uh, we're cautiously optimistic that we're going to be able to see this recovery through 2010 and through 2011. I was listening to some analysts talking about this today, and, and they all said that really the strength of the Ford lineup really they believe is going to carry forward through this this time. Well, you think about our lineup now, and, and you know, it wasn't uh, too many years ago where Ford was associated in the United States with the uh, Mustang and uh, the Explorer and the, and the Expedition, or the uh, F1 Series and the Expedition. But clearly now you look at the new Fiesta, the Focus, the Fusion, uh, the Taurus, the Mustang, the Escape, the Edge, the Flex. Bear with me on this, <laughs> Stephen. <laughs> and then, of course, the new Explorer, the new Expedition, the Ranger, the F-Series, the E-Series, and Transit. That product line, many people believe, is the finest uh, product line of any manufacturer worldwide. Also, something interesting came out this week that you plan to sell the, the Lincoln Hybrid at the same price as, as the standard uh, motor system. Yeah, this is a, uh, a really neat thing because... Uh, you know, clearly we are now committed to Lincoln, and it's a fabulous uh, premium brand. The MKZ is fabulous, and so we're really trying to get everybody's attention. That they got great choices now for in the premium brand uh, uh, from Lincoln. So the MKZ is, uh, you know, you think about it, in a premium brand, 41 miles a gallon, six miles a gallon better than a Lexus. Uh, and also, I, maybe I'm wrong on this, but aren't there still some federal incentives for buying uh, a hybrid car? Is that going to make it a better deal? Yes, absolutely. Wow, that's just amazing. Oh, we want to talk about the product line and, and something else uh, that you guys are breaking ground with. You're releasing your new Explorer, but you're not doing it at the auto show. Absolutely. This is a, a, a very innovative, and, and we're just so pleased with the results so far. Uh, we've been using social media to get everybody's attention about the new Explorer. And it's, first of all, to start with the new Explorer, it's a complete reinvention of the Explorer. Because, as you know, I'm seven uh, a million Explorers over the years. And we have, we've improved the fuel efficiency by 30%. It has all the neat features that, that people have loved, plus all the new styling and the craftsmanship. But we've been teasing it out with just use of the, you know, the front and the back. And on, uh, on Monday, we're going to uh, reveal it in nine different cities simultaneously around the United States. But you've already revealed probably well, almost all the car. I mean, I've been watching the Facebook page. You can see virtually all of the car now. So are there going to be any surprises when we see it in person? I think it's going to be when you see the entire package together, you're just going to go, wow, that is really a neat looking vehicle. And you've got Mike Rowe, uh, who, who most people know from your commercials or from Dirty Jobs, Absolutely. who's got the great job of introducing this. It thing. was so funny, uh, uh, Stephen, because uh, he made a video that's on Facebook and he has a little camera and he's taking a picture of himself and he said, they've asked me to go back. I haven't even seen the vehicle. So I'm going to go back on Sunday night with my camera and I'm going to take a picture and then share it with all of you before the reveal. We'll see if he actually does <laughs> on Sunday night, right? Sunday night. Okay, so let's talk about, uh, first of all, uh, why the Explorer? I mean, obviously this was a hugely popular car, as you pointed out, up until, I don't know, 2003, 2004. You had right. the tire problems with it, then the economy, the gas prices, and all that kind of thing. People said the SUV was dead. Yet you're really making a major attention-grabbing move with an SUV in these times. Does that a signal a new... Absolutely, Stephen. And it really goes back to the fundamental strategy we adopted three and a half years ago is that uh, at Ford, you're going to be able to get a complete family of vehicles, small, medium, and large, cars, utilities, and trucks, and get it at one-stop shopping at, the, at Ford. And every one of them would be best in class in quality and fuel efficiency and safety and smart design. So this was a chance now for us to reinvent the midsize SUV because there's so many people that want the capability plus the seven passenger cap capability plus the fuel efficiency and the quality. So I think people are going to be very, very excited about this midsize SUV. All right, last uh, little line of question here. Social media in itself, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of the social media. I'm, I'm very active on Twitter. 
uh, around here. And Ford, um, I know for a fact, is really leading the way among all corporations in adopting this new technology. Why is that? Well, it's very exciting. and It really goes back to letting our products uh, lead the transformation of Ford. And what we decided uh, uh, three and a half years ago is that we were going to make the best cars and trucks in the world, and we're going to let the products do the talking. And so we invited, like on the Fiesta movement, we invited 100 people to own it, to drive a Fiesta and blog about it. No editorial rights from us. And what has happened is that we have created a phenomenal discussion around the, the Ford products. And most, peop uh, most people, they consult 70% uh, of the advice they get are with their friends when they get ready to buy a new car. So you can imagine what's happening with everybody talking about the vehicle and let the vehicle be, uh, let the vehicle sell itself. It's kind of like you've cut out the nattering naysayers uh, that, that we heard Agnew talk about well, years ago. Well, and we don't want to, none of us want to listen to a talking head. And, uh, and what we really want to know is we want to have a conversation that goes on where we can talk about all the features and what it means and people that have had direct experience because, uh, you know, everybody knows everything because information is ubiquitous now. So what's neat is that we have really established a wonderful dialogue about the Ford vehicles. Do you ever risk it just taking off uh, out of your control this whole discussion about a Ford product? I mean, most corporations like to have a little control over their image, but when you release it to the world, you lose your control. Well. Uh, you know, clearly in our case, our commitment is to make the best cars and trucks in the world, which we are doing every new vehicle that we release. So w once you make that commitment, then uh, it is so neat to see uh, everybody start talking about it. So you're confident that the products are going to uh, keep, keep the positive conversation? Absolutely. And, you know, see, if we learn that, that we missed the mark, then we want to know that right away, and we will improve the next one. And you hear pretty quickly on, on Facebook, Twitter, and so forth. Absolutely. Forth we hear back on every vehicle and every feature, and, and we love that feedback because it just allows us to continuously improve our wonderful products. All right, last question. This is kind of personal here. Do you Twitter? I do. And, and we both know the Twitter of all Twitterers, and that is Scott Monty. Scott Monty, the guy who is in charge of your Twittering here. At I, can, the, I can remember the, the first time that we talked, and, he, said, and he, he was explaining about the power of being able to have a conversation. And was he ever a visionary? And he is just a fabulous leader. So is this something you do on your own time? Do you have your own handle that you use Twitter for, or do you just work under the Ford umbrella? Uh, mainly under the Ford. Uh -huh. So you don't have your own. I'm just trying to find out if we got a super secret, you know, uh, uh, Alan Mulally out there someplace. I love supporting the Ford plan. Okay, so it'll all be Ford. And also Facebook. Are you personally on Facebook, or is it just Ford? I think again? I have a fans of Alan Facebook oh, page yeah. because uh, everybody puts things on, and it's really kind of fun. And our kids, uh, you know, let me know when they see something new. So. I'm just absolutely laser focused on our transformation of Ford. So you're spending a lot of time on cars and not enough time on the on the Twitter then. I think it's a good balance right now. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Malali, thank you so very much for taking the time Steven, to talk about this great day. And we'll look forward to that uh, that Explorer being released and on. And remember, Ford, drive one, feel a difference, Stephen. Hey, how'd we get that in there? <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome.